and greetings. Now we're gonna tour the javelin. We're rushing. Let me turn up audio real quick so people will see. Explain what life is like aboard the ship. I would like to remind you that the entire ship is not available for exploration, so please be respectful of unauthorized errors. Thank you. to make the Warhammer a real problem for all sizes of ship. Hence why we can be tasked to operate independently on patrols without support from the rest of the battle group. During the Xeno threat incursion, our gunners were responsible for the destruction of over 70 hostile elements and several capital ships, as well as protecting the ship from incoming ordnance. As a special treat, we've safety this turret so you can get a taste of what it feels like to be a gunner. All the weapons have been deactivated, so don't worry about accidental discharge. But I'll remind you this is an active military vessel, so be respectful all the same. Thank you, and have a great Invictus. Well, thank you, thank you again for this lovely opportunity. And that's not Alright, can we go this way? Nope, 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 nope. Looks like that's cordoned off. Alright. We will check out that in a moment. I'm checking out the. Oh, that's sleeping quarters. I know. Get in this turret and see what it is like. <laughs> All right, we are now testing out a turret. Power on.
Yeah, it looks like someone's taking home the bangle. <laughs> Interesting. Skate pods. Oh, the meals. I'll see if he has anything he'd like to say. Mm -hmm. I am waiting. My name's Lieutenant Horrigan, and as you can probably tell, this is Warhammer's mess hall. Definitely one of the more popular spaces on the ship. The mess has a fully automated dispensary since we operate on rotating shifts. We have a standard crew complement of 65 to 70, and meals need to be available at all times, so we have a culinary team always on duty, ready to lend support. Famous pilot Ari O'Reilly was once quoted as saying, if you ever want to take the temperature of a ship's crew, you spend 20 minutes in their mess. Now this is one of the main social areas of the ships where crew members from different departments can catch up in their own downtime. We also use the mess for social events like uh, birthdays, holidays and promotions since it's able to hold so many people. Our skipper, Captain Medcalf, is a big believer in, in casual gatherings. It's in an effort to entrench camaraderie. So we're in here pretty often. Now. You've probably noticed our games in the corner, so I'll just address the question that everyone asks. Yes, it's pretty competitive. The XO currently has the score to beat. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to have a look around. Why, well, thank you, sir. I will definitely do that. I will definitely do that. Um... Base rage. That sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Here's the only thing. My issue is I'm looking at the buttons. The buttons don't. I get the design, but the buttons are the big issue. Hair hockey. Love it. Let's continue. We got 30, 38. Um, we got 38, and then we got to steal. I'm gonna have to try to steal the bang. Sir, can I go this way? Hello? No? Okay. Let's go down here. Uh, what do we have? Engineering deck. Looks like I got some servers. No dialogue yet. Okay. This looks like the brig area. Oh, engine room this way. They seal that sucker off. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're gonna let us on the fucking bridge. It's 
down here. Guards here. Dead. It's up here. Looks like more servers, more substances. Bridge and armory. Okay. I don't think you're gonna let uh, uh, us in the bridge. Decades, the Warhammer transitioned between fleets in a variety of support and patrol positions, even participating in the UEE push to reclaim the Nexus system in the 2930s. Most recently, the Warhammer distinguished itself as the primary combat vessel to repel the outlaw group known as Xenothreat from the Stanton system. Since then, the Warhammer has been placed in dry dock for repairs, but is heading back to active service once this year's Invictus festivities are concluded. The room you're currently seated in is the main briefing room for the entire ship. Based around a hollow volume built by Microtech, the crew gathers here to discuss everything from battle strategies to repair schedules. The marine detail assigned to this ship also uses this room to plan out their boarding actions or outline combat strategies. This room has even acted as a venue for off-duty activities, such as vid screenings or sporting event parties. We hope that you'll take the opportunity to explore the ship and get an up-close look at one of the vanguards of order. On behalf of Captain Metcalf and the rest of the crew, I want to wish you a fantastic adventure. We'll see you next year. I will certainly be here next year. Congratulations. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Let's see what we can get with any shenanigans. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you're not gonna let me through? I want to get to the bridge.
Alright, so top one is the bridge. We're gonna get into the bridge from that way. I wonder if we can get into bridge from space. Well, that's something we gotta try. But I'm gonna finish the tour and then we are going to. I think this will conclude the tour. Unless there's an area of the ship that we don't know about. All the sleeping quarters. That's right. We gotta go to sleeping um, sleeping quarters. Alright, let's see if he uh, says anything. Hello? Hello, sir. Are you there? Hello, sir. can catch up in their own downtime. So you can match their social pressure on them. I'm guessing the info oh to the warhammer. I am leading Starman Detmer, and this, as you've probably guessed, is one of the two barracks on the ship. And I know, I know, you must be thrilled to see where Navy personnel sleep, and let me be the first to tell you, it's every bit as exciting as promised. Javelins are pretty great when it comes to sleeping arrangements, as they have enough bunks for the full crew, which is amazing because it avoids situations known as hot bunking, where you swap out bunks with somebody on the opposite shift, and that is horrible. Uh, this one time on my old ship, I had to share with this guy who had just the worst smelling socks. Um, and I'm talking, you know, the military could have weaponized it kind of bad. And I had to try and fall asleep with that every day. So, uh, yeah, after that, these bunks are a, a dream. <laughs> and I'm just thinking that uh, actually, I don't think my CEO would like me talking about how bad hot bunking is. So, anyway, uh, each one has special slots for personal effects um, and is capable of sealing you up to give you a little privacy. People are always moving around the barracks. Sleeping schedules shift slightly too, so they can activate the full crew at a moment's notice if the ship enters heavy combat, you know. So you, you're kind of always sleeping with one eye open. I mean, we get short sleep schedules if we are patrolling dangerous space, so... I mean, you're already grabbing sleep when you can, and... Sorry, I am rambling. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm not sure what to tell you. This is where we sleep. Not a whole lot of mystery to it. But I hope this has been enlightening. Please have a look around if you like, but don't touch anything in the bunks, as this is an active ship. And everything in here is the property of the crew, so be cool. 
Alright, I wonder if we can give him a Pico. <laughs> I'd love to have this a Pico just travel all over. But that's just an idea. Uh, that part of the tour wasn't the greatest. Um, okay, we already talked to him. Our sleeping quarters. This will conclude today's um, tour of the Javelin. I'd like to thank you all and have a wonderful Invictus week. This ship is, is more expensive than anything else. I still don't see them working on it. It's... it's Alright, let's find the doctor to get the hell off the ship now. Alright. And it's a crash.